Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing the uh, What's in Bloom and uh, Spike uh, video. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you are interested, please keep on watching. First of all, I wanted to show you this uh, Mazdevelia that I purchased recently. Uh, it's just called Mazdevelia Strobelli. Mazdevelia Strobelli. I've repotted it since I bought it into tree fern fiber and uh, sphagnum moss and perlite uh, mixture. And um, it came to me with the, all of these spikes and the spikes were open for a few days, but uh, apparently I think they, they're now closed. I don't know why they closed so, so fast, but only one of them is open, this one. So a few days ago, they were all like this open. And it's very interesting because there is three antenna here. They, they were open like that and now they all closed. So it's a very interesting uh, Mazda Valia to own. But unfortunately, I didn't detect um, any scent. Um, maybe it's... Um, it become fragrant in the next uh, flowering season I don't know but uh, I really enjoyed the beautiful little uh, blooms and I'm sorry about that this is Pekin's or a work of art so excuse that <laughs> but uh, look at the little uh, details in the in the uh, little bud so very beautiful uh, Mazda Valia and it was open for maybe a week. It kind of opened in the morning and kind of closed at night. So it was very interesting um, Mazda Valia to own. And I hang this in my bathroom so it's uh, in a over 70% humidity so hopefully should survive this one and my glow blows the other one uh finished blooming um you know the one that i bought uh, with uh, lilac-y blooms glow loza i think it's called glow loza something like that um that finished flowering that's why i didn't bring it today to show you but this one still have um, blooms but kind of closed I don't know if they're gonna open again or they just finished blooming, but for now, uh, just enjoy it as it is. Next, um, from the same haul, I bought this one just uh, recently, and this is Parfum Petalum uh, Unaniano, something like that. And it came to me uh, in in bud, bud was this this high, this much, and then it grew into be big beautiful bloom. As you can see, very beautiful blooming. Love these colors uh, at the bottom of this petals and lovely pouch. So this came to me with the flowering spike, um, but I just grew it to blooming. But from now on, the rest are the ones that I grew to blooming. So this one is my Epidendrum uh, Hugo Medine. Um, last year bloomed for me about uh, February, March, this year a bit early, I don't know why, um, but it's a bit early and, and there's two flower spikes here and there, um, smell of jasmine, I really like the smell of these blooms and Pekan making some noise, Pekan finished whatever she was eating and now <laughs> she's making noise, sorry, <laughs> she's making a very silly face now. <laughs> Shh, you have to be quiet when I'm filming, okay? No, be quiet, yeah, yeah, yeah. please. 
Okay, good girl. So, oh, she wants attention. Can you say hello? Yes. Yes. What are you saying? Are you tired or bored? I think you're bored mostly. Yes, I know. You want to play? Next, I have my um, Phalaenopsis Lodomaniana. It's a species fal. I bought this fall um, this year um, in March um, 2023 and um, it came with a very small spike. One of these uh, big ones was like very, very small uh, spike here. Uh, but then uh, it grew into two other spikes as well as you can see this one and this one and that. So there is three spikes two of them grown under my care. I've repotted it into sphagnum moss, as you can see, uh, with a top layer of bark. And it has grown very lovely roots, as you can see, very nice roots. Um, so I bought this for uh, fragrance because I knew that they, they have a lovely fragrance. But uh, unfortunately, this one don't have as much. Only one of them, this one only have a little bit of a fragrance, but not the rest. But I'm just hoping that this is only the first bloom, so uh, it can have um, bloom. Um, you know, the the future bloomings have uh, more or better fragrance for me. Uh, but for now, I just in, enjoy the blooms, really lovely blooms, as you can see. And yeah, pecan is started to be annoying a little bit now. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Those noise that you can hear is is pecan. So anyway, yeah, I enjoy this Lodimaniana uh, very much. Um, and I hope for uh, better fragrance in future but for now I have lovely blooms I have three four um, five five blooms and uh, three in one spike one in there and one other one here and as you know that they, they are uh, sequential blooming uh, so this is spike might grow and have more uh, blooms Okay, next bloom uh, is my uh, Dendrobium aberrans, Polysema times aberrans. Uh, so this is a Latoria Dendrobium that I grew in uh, Leca. It grows really well in Leca and self-watering system setup. And it has lots and lots of bloom this year for me. Um, as you can see, spike with uh, six six blooms this is the first time i ever i have a, a spike like this very very strong spike uh, they usually have four to five but this one has six or seven this one has seven <laughs> seven bloom in one spike it's really nice beautiful little bloom i really enjoy this one and as you can see there are lots of buds to go as well uh, as the open spike so this is very very long lasting bloom and this type of orchids are very long lasting blooming uh, started even in october blooming and uh, now in december still going strong uh, unfortunately they don't have uh, fragrance but they are so beautiful and I don't care about fragrance in this case look at that so beautiful I'll try to put some of the pictures at the end of this video so then you can see them uh, with the picture but yeah, this is a very, very prolific um, and bloomer for me. And uh, sits in my 
south uh, south uh, facing windowsill in kitchen and um, all year round and um, I enjoy the blooms at this time of year every year it blooms for me with no fault next uh, I have my big um, Lelio Cattleya which is second blooming this is Cattleya Ducti Ruby number five times by uh, Lelia Rosa so as I said last year in this uh, this Cattleya hybrid bloomed for me uh, for the first time last year this year has a slightly deformed um, bloom one of the one of the blooms are kind of deformed this one look uh, it looks like two of the petals have been and uh, like amalgamate into one amalgamate and it should be like this with five petals but this one has only four because these two have been stuck together so i don't know why but it's nevertheless it's a beautiful bloom look at that red very beautiful lip which is a lelia roselle and yeah, I enjoy it at this time of year. It grows one uh, suitable every year and it blooms on the new gr uh, growth uh, every year. I mean, since last year, it's been doing it every year uh, for me. So I enjoy this. It doesn't have a smell as such a tiny, maybe bit, tiny bit of a floral scent, but not that much. But I really like the color and it's a beautiful, very beautiful uh, cat layer to own. Uh, next one on the table is my uh, Dendrobium Ferioda. So this Ferioda has been confused, it's been blooming on and off. Uh, three times maybe this year one in the spring the other one um, in late summer and now there is winter uh, with lots of bloom lots of spikes blooming for me beautiful blooms this is my cymbidium no id too big to bring it out on the table but you can see that there are lots of blooms on the spike they're still uh, still too early it just started opening two days ago yesterday the, yeah two days ago and as you can see four of them have been opened there is three spike this year one is this one with big fat bud and the other one is this one which is blooming and the last one is this smaller one which some of the bud had been knocked out by pecan so because i kept it next to my window and uh, she always <laughs> poke her head and down to to watch outside the window and she knocked off uh, i think two of the buds of that this is like uh, so what can you do so yeah this is my uh, no id cymbidium i really like it because it blooms at this time of year with lots and lots of blooms and it does it every year for me with no faults and i grew it in leka i mean it was in uh, organic media last year but i transferred it into leka this summer and it just grew without no fault I kept it outside um, up until um, October time, mid-October and I bring it uh, inside when uh, there is uh, some spike um, 
uh, appeared so uh, that's how i look after it but other than that it's very easy to look after and it rewards you with lots of bloom as you can see beautiful blooms okay guys this is my dendrobium uh, spider uh, jk spider number 570 times by this color and i have a nice spike there was one other spike in in this one but the slugs ate it when it was outside so i'm very looking forward to this this uh, spike and i will show you when it's in bloom next i have this uh, phalaenopsis called uh, phalaenopsis pop very very beautiful color i love this yellow and i bought this last year came to me with lots of a spike like five or six a spike but this year it just grew two spikes so there's two plants in the in the pot each of them have one spike so i'm not impressed about the the number of spike but i still love these blooms Look at it, it's like uh, sunshine. So beautiful. The other uh, phalaenopsis I have in bloom is this one. No ID from Ikea. It's grown in Lekka. By the way, this one was in Lekka as well. This one is grown into Lekka as well and it has a nice spike with lots of buds to go and two of the bud has opened that's why i thought uh, just to show you this one but i've got lots of other uh, phalaenopsis in bud that i'll show you in first of all i have to show you this one which is my phalaenopsis schilleriana uh, by the way, this is my bathroom. I hang them in my bathroom uh, because it's uh, quite humid. They really love it. And um, this Shuleriana is first time blooming. Um, I think there is uh, four or five, but but I'll show you when they in bloom. Next one, this is uh, my um, Phalaenopsis sanction very lovely uh, orangey color blooms with uh, uh, shelleriana fragrance like as uh, you know fragrance um i really like this one and it's got two spikes for me spikes are kind of very very uh, narrow or very thin so i don't know if they grow thicker and this one is again a Shalariana hybrid, um, but no ID. I don't know. Jiaho girl, I think somebody told me it's called. And, and there is one spike here. Uh, my bronze maiden has two lovely spikes this one and that one. And my philippinensis uh, spike for the second time um, because as i said before when i transferred it into leca it objected it didn't bloom for maybe three years now this is the uh, second blooming that i've seen in i will be seeing <laughs> in this uh, in this phalaenopsis so uh, i think that's it for this uh, this session uh, of what's in bloom and spike um, for me. So I hope you enjoyed um, this uh, video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this and updates on my orchid. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.